Hey everybody, how's it going? Jeff Shackley here with Freeway Music, coming to you uh, today from my home studio. Uh, today we are doing our last fill of the week for the month of July. And then after that, uh, we'll start looking at something else. I just realized recently that I talk as if this is today, but you guys might not be seeing these videos for like a week or two after I record them. So for me, this is the last Tuesday of July, and for you, it's whatever today is when you're watching it. But uh, I have not necessarily a specific fill for you today, but a fill concept that I like to do here. Um, it's going to be another five-note pattern. I've showed you guys a cool five-note pattern before. Those are fun because when they repeat, they never end exactly on the same part of the beat. You have to repeat them several times or add some other flair in between to get it back on an even downbeat or an upbeat, depending on what you're looking for. So today we're going to have another five-note pattern, and it's based on 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... So this one here, sticking, is pretty simple. You have a right-handed flam. So remember, big right hand, little left hand. Right-handed flam. Kick. Right, left, kick. Okay, so right hand flam, kick. Right, left, kick. I'm going to play just on the snare drum for a moment so you guys can hear it. Play it slow, speed it up a little bit. The huge. So there's the pattern, okay? Uh, now, the cool thing here is, though, is moving your hands around the drums, playing different voicings to get different sounds. I usually end up using the floor tom a lot just because I like it to be big and deep and full, but you can use any of the toms you want. You can walk down the toms. You can walk up the toms. You can just stay on the snare drum and play it loud and bombastic and high-pitched. Um, typically, how I would stick that, I would keep the flam on the snare drum. Uh, obviously, the kick is going to stay on the kick. Uh, and then for the next right hand, that's where I move it around. So flam on your snare drum, kick, right hand on whatever tom you're feeling, and then left hand back on the snare drum. Okay. Or you can do some things where, you know, your flam stays on the snare drum, kick is kick, but then your right left can be wherever you want it. You can do right on the snare drum, left on a rack tom, or you can do both of those on a rack tom, both of those between a couple of toms. Just move it around. Have a good time with it. So, a couple of examples. So you see you can get drastically different sounds, as per always, if you just move your hands around. You don't have to keep it in one particular place. So why don't I show you a couple of times with me playing it in a groove-related context or, you know, again, the huge. So you can see how I fit it in. And I'll, I'll do it uh, a couple of different ways where uh, I'll add some different flair to it to make it even out. 
Like I usually like to play that on repetition twice and then play a different set for six sixteenth notes in order to round that off and make a nice even phrase. So I'll show that to you a couple times and see what kind of ideas I can come up with to help you come up with your own ideas. You'll notice one of the times in there uh, I picked a different meter. I wasn't playing 16th notes anymore, but I was still using the pattern. Uh, again, it's just a fun thing to do. It's With it being an odd note pattern, it doesn't always fit perfectly, so it just opens up cool new ideas. Uh, another idea that I like to do with this is make the first kick a double. So you can have flam, double kick, right, left, kick, flam, double kick, right, left, kick, like this. play loud and hard on these videos. It's fun to do that from time to time. So that was the concept. And again, you can move that sucker anywhere you want it. It doesn't have to be the exact voicing that I like to play. That's just something that my ear tends to lean towards. You know, that's what I want to hear. That's what I'm comfortable playing. But you can move that sticking anywhere you want. Make it your own. Put doubles on both the kicks. Uh, put doubles on the hands and leave the kicks single. I don't know, whatever floats your boat. I just want you guys to take any and all of these ideas and have fun with them. Make them your own, you know. Do different things with them and find ways to start incorporating that either into your regular playing. You know, if you're lucky and you have a gig where playing a big funky fill is, is, uh, is appropriate. Or... You know, or when you have a big solo and you can play some ripping licks and have a good time. Or just for your practicing to limber up and, and get loose and open up your body to new ideas. So just remember to have fun. Always practice with a metronome. And stay safe. That's it for me this time, guys. You have a great week. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.